Yo, what's up everybody? Tweets here. And in this video, I am going to show you guys how to retexture vanilla tents. So like everything else I've showed you, um, in your P drive, create a folder. So in this case, I put tent retextures inside there. You're going to have your config and your data folder. Now in your data folder, you're going to have your textures and you're going to need an RV mat. So to get these, what you do is you just go to your P drive, DZ, gear, camping, data. Now in here will be all the tents. So in this case, I did a car tent. So you would look for a car tent. You'll take the main RV mat. You will take the car tent CO and the car tent. Pat CO. You will copy those, bring them into your folder, paste in them, and then rename them the way I have here. So once you do that, now you'll see that there's another, this is car tent 2 CO. You'll see this here. This is for the door flap of the tent. Um, I didn't find it in the, um, vanilla ones, but <clears throat> I just made a little texture. I wanted it to match the theme that I'm going for. So I did like a purple color. You can change the color to whatever you want. Maybe even add a pattern to it or whatever. See if it works out for you, but that's all I did. And then I exported it. As a PAA, and then I just gave it a two. Um, you could give it flap or a door or whatever, and then export it. And that's all I did with that. And now you can take it from my file, like my other videos. This file here will be linked in the description below. So you can work from my file to make it easier. But once you have your textures, so you'll see this is, is the vanilla tar tent texture, and this is the vanilla tar tent pat texture. This is just the case. So you'll see I changed up, obviously, the texture to what I wanted for the tent and for the pat, the case. And then I exported them. Just make sure you change the name. So, like here, I added sample before. I don't want. You don't want it to match the exact same name as the vanilla files. You want it different. So just add an abbreviation or sample or whatever you want. Just make sure they don't match the same. Now, once you have your textures done, you are then going to go to that RV mat. You're going to open it and you're only going to focus on stage two. This one stage right here. And it's going to be the path to your tent um, CO. So you're just going to get the path in your P drive to your retexture. Again, on stage two only. And you're going to paste it. And then you're going to get the name of your tent retexture. So for the actual tent, not the pat and not the door flap, but the tent. And then... Boom. And that's just on stage two. That's all you're going to have to change here. And then you can save it. And then that's that. That's it for the um, texture and, and the, the RV mat. Now for the trim fade, it's just a basic trim fade here I got. So to get the vanilla trim fade, you just go to P, DZ, gear, camping, and then open that trim fade. Now, I just took the top part here. Well, you can also take the CFG vehicles part. So from line 19 and up, I copied it. Now, in here, you're going to remove the units because you're just going to put, when you get your config, you're going to put your class name there. Now, for required add-ons, I copied the DZ gear camping. I put a little comma after DZ data. And then in quotes, add DZDR camping. And then I changed this to sample 
tint or whatever you guys want to change it to. And then you look for, go back to the vanilla config and look for what you're doing. So I did car tint. So I'm going to find it. So here we go. Now you're only taking what you want to change. So obviously the class, scope to your display name, your hidden selections, your textures, paths, and your material paths. Now you're going to notice there's some difference here. I have a couple extra hidden selections and the paths to my textures are a little different. <clears throat> now this is kind of important. You, to get these, you can open up Material Tools, Eliteness, and then in here you're going to go to your DZ, your, your P drive, DZ, Gear, Campin, and then you're going to open their car tent. Now you'll see over here is their model config, and you'll see all their selections. So this is for the entrance. So you're just going to need those two added to your hidden selections, just like that. Um, but you, again, you can work from my config and skip all that if you want. Once you have your selections in, you didn't have your path to your textures. So the first two, you'll see that there are four paths. The first two are for the door flap. So you didn't have a path, your path, and then your door flap texture. The third one is for your main tent texture. So that's great to my, or your pat your patch texture because your main tent texture is in the RV mat. So you just want your third one here to be to the pat texture. The fourth one, you didn't leave alone. You don't have to change any of that. Now for the materials, the RV mats, you're going to see there are four, but the first two are blank. So leave those blank. The third one is to the vanilla pat, leave that alone. And then the fourth one will be to your RV mat that you changed for your texture. It will be for that RV mat, the one that you only changed stage two on. You'll have the path to that in your config. And then that covers the selections and the textures. Now make sure for your base classes, you have whatever tent you're using. In my case, I did car tent, so you're gonna take their class name and make sure that that is your base class. Now, you have to have one on the top for each type of retexture. So if I was gonna do another car tent, I won't need to have a second top base class because I already have it up here. So I could just literally just copy this all here and paste it right here and then that's that and then change the pass and the class to like the second one if i was doing multiple but i'm not but so that's that the base class you only need it there once at the top same with card tent placing you're gonna need that too and then your class name for your new card tent, which you're gonna then put under units. So now you've taken care of your class names, your hidden selections, and all your textures and materials. Now, if you wanna change the card size, by vanilla, it is 500, so it would be 1050. Um, I upped mine to 1000, so I just went 10100 for the item's cargo size, which you could just copy from the vanilla trend fade and paste it in there and change it to what you want. And then at the bottom, you're gonna have your class name right here. So the same that I used up here, I'm gonna have at the bottom, 
and then I'm gonna just add place in after it just like that with the base class car tent place in so if you look through all the different tents you got large tent place in for the large tent so you're just gonna need to do that so you would use if you were doing a large tent tent you would have the large tent place in here and then you would have large tent as your base class just like it would look just like that if i was doing a large tent and then path to the textures to that but i'm not i'm doing a card tent so we're just going to leave it like that and then once you have all your classes done you have everything that you wanted to change done and everything's looking good then you can save that and then you just pack it up in your um, PBO project. Now I always delete temps every time and then I pack. And then once you pack it, you test it. So now that I'm in, I'm here in game, we're going to spawn in our tent. So sample car tent. You'll see that the box is retextured and then we'll place it. And boom. Now you'll see that the tent is retextured. You'll check your flap here. It's got that dark purple haze that I wanted it to have to match my theme. And then you go in, tab out, and now you'll see that it's a thousand slots instead of 500. And that's it. And now you have retouched your tent. So if you have any questions, link to my Discord will be below in the description, as well as link to this file from the video so you guys can use it to work from to make things a lot easier. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.